Welcome, everybody. It is time to play some songs. So, uh, basically, um, you've now done all the fundamentals that uh, that I've talked about previously. Uh, you know where the all parts of the guitar are, the strings are, all that jazz. Um, we're going to be jumping in straight away. The one rule that I have is play music. Uh, get into music, have fun with music, play songs, and then that's how you're going to build a lot of your technique. That's how you're going to build your theory, your not all all things in music. Um, we don't want to be want. Pe- I mean, I just I hate it, and this is the reason why I'm telling you how to do it. Is I hated it. I hate it when I was told play scales and they didn't help me. Play arpeggios, they didn't help me. Do all this stuff, didn't help me. One thing that does help immediately is playing playing songs that are challenging. And f- as a beginner, everything's going to be challenging for you. So pretty much anything you do is going to be helpful. Um, but I'm going to give you a step-by-step process, um, get you f- more comfortable playing the guitar, doing things like that. Um, so this is going to be the first lesson where we're going to do some like single note playing. Now, you have your choices. You can use a guitar pick. You can use your fingers. I actually just don't care what you do. Um, at this point, that is not a focus. The focus right now is just hit making noise. Um, like I was saying, you know, you're a baby trying to speak. Just make noise. Uh, you get you get gold stars if you can just make some noise. Now, the core skill that you need to be building immediately, like this is the ultimate hack. This is how, like, if you're wondering, how do I get good really, really fast and things like that? And I know everyone, like, I, I'm not one for shortcuts. Um, this is not so much a shortcut. This is just, you just need the skill. If you have this skill, it means every other skill in music can be applied immediately. So this skill is understanding rhythm and hearing the rhythm. So Rhythm is the most important aspect in all music. Change my mind. Uh, like, it's so underrated, like, just so incredibly underrated in music that it's like so many musicians are just like, I'm a big culprit of it. Like, okay, I'm not even going to talk about other musicians. I'm just going to talk about myself. The moment when I started connecting with people was when I started respecting rhythm. The moment when people started to notice feel in my guitar solos was when I started respecting rhythm. The moment when people started thinking that I was connected to lyrics was when I understood rhythm. Um, Each aspect and each stage of understanding rhythm made me more and more and more and more exceptional um, at whatever I was chasing. Uh, it's, It's the North Star. Now... As a beginner, you can immediately start training this. Uh, a lot of people don't train this. Um, a lot of people are like, where's the note? Where are the chords? Um, what song can I play? And they never get into rhythm. So the reason why in this first video, um, this is the first time I'm going to get you to play a song. And the worst, most important thing that I want you doing is hearing rhythm, training yourself to hear the rhythm. Now, this is going to be a straight up simple tune nothing crazy about it. It's called Smoke on the Water. So basically, this is the tune that I get everyone to jump in and start playing. And before you even pick up the guitar, before you start playing a note, the rhythm goes, ba, 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 ba. And it might sound very simple, like a couple of notes, but the rhythms themselves are actually quite challenging. If I were to write out those, like the actual accents of what it would look like, it would look like pretty fancy notated rhythm. It's actually just simple stuff. But you've listened to lots of music. This is the thing. We've all listened to great music. We've all, if you listen to the radio or you've listened to anything like that, or you've got albums that you love, um, which I'm assuming you would because that's why you want to play music, you have been exposed to great rhythms. And great melodies, great everything. So you need to be like, okay, well, why don't I just like cash in on this knowledge that has been latent, it's dormant, it's sitting in there, it's waiting to pounce um, and start training yourself to hear the thing that's going to then bring all that stuff flooding out in all your playing. So at the beginning, when it comes to learning any song, rhythm is key. So when I say rhythm, you are going to not 
don't worry about the notes, like getting the right notes correct. Like da 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 da. You don't need to do that. You just need to get the rhythm. Bam 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 bam. And now I keep time. One two three four. Bam 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 bam. Obviously, I'm keeping a pulse. Uh, in the future, we will go into some of this practice of like keeping a pulse. But at the beginning, you just have to follow me. Ba, 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 ba. And if I do it slower, ba, 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 ba. Now, if you say that a few times, say it out loud, say it in your head. Um, try to get get comfortable with being uncomfortable, especially if you have other people around you. And they're like, why is that guy, like, why are you singing that? Why are you <laughs> making noise? It's just like, it is what it is. People are going to think you're crazy until you actually do a good job. So just if you can get over other people's judgment and get over yourself sounding bad, truly no one really cares if you do a really good job or a really bad job. So just remember, fumble with it and have fun. So I'm going to put tabs up for this as well on the screen. So hopefully you can follow. So what we're going to do is we're going to be starting on the high E string. So string number one. And so if we're going to follow the tab, it's going to be zero, three, five. Zero, three, six, five. So that's the first half. So we're going to practice. Zero, three, five. Zero, three, six, five. So try it again. Zero, three, five. Zero, three, six, five. Now, again, it's at the very beginning. So like you might struggle just to get the three. So that might be hard. Don't feel bad. Just keep working on it. Just keep working. Six, five, zero, three, five. So that's the second half. So it goes zero, three, five, three, zero. That's the second half. So it's a lot easier than the first half. So the whole sequence is zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five, zero, three, five, three, zero. Now remember, try your best to get towards the end of the frets to make it easy to fret. And then obviously when you are pushing down, that's when you hit. And then as soon as you move up, hit again, squeeze, hit. And always remember it's squeezing with your thumb, not pushing down with your finger. So squeeze with your thumb into the neck like that. And you're gonna get that nice clean. Now, it's up to you guys. If you get bored or if you just get like really confident about it, be like, oh my God, I'm absolutely killing this. This is wicked. I am so good. If you get into that headspace, just have fun with it. I'm not one for guitar exercises, but a really fun way to build up technique is to take a song and turn it into an exercise. So this song is no different. Pick different strings. So start on the B string, which is string number two. And you're gonna go on the B string. Zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five, three, zero. Easy. Now you go to the G string, third string. Zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five, three, zero. And same thing, D string. Zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five, three, zero. Same thing on the uh, A string. Zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five, three, zero. Now I'm getting faster, but it is what it is. And then back to the low E string, six string. Zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five, three, zero. Boom. Uh, make sure when you are playing it, so the, like this is the sequence of any time you're learning something new, sing it first, the rhythm. I don't care about melodies, so sing the rhythm. Ba, 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 ba. And then you go and then you try and play it. Da, 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 da. And then you want to be singing it and then playing it. Singing it and then playing it. If you can sing and play them at the same time. Ba, ba, ba. 
Ba, 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 ba. That's peak level performance. Um, you want to get into the habit of training it. Uh, the reason why I'm telling you to train this is because you need to train your head to be the leader. A lot of the times people will start here. The hand does not make you musical. The hand does nothing. This does not have a brain. This thing is not your friend. This thing is your friend when you like are practicing like one lick and it's like, cool, I've got muscle memory now and it just does it for you. That's handy. So when we sit here, that's handy. I don't want to think about where a C chord is. I just want my hand to go and do it. And that's handy. But when you come to playing music, your head has to control everything. So just remember, it's about leading your hand, not your hand leading you. Uh, and that is going to save you a solid like 50 to 100 hours of practice if you do it that way. Um, also on the topic of beginning, uh, give this 20 hours. Like I kid you not, just give yourself 20 hours. Write it down, set a stopwatch, like create like a global stopwatch or something for yourself. Write it down, be like, all right, I've got 20 hours and write it down and go get your stopwatch out on your phone and then Whatever time you spend actually practicing, um, not like you start practicing, someone calls you, you get distracted, set a stopwatch, start push play, and whatever time you just did, write it like today I did 20 minutes. Now go that 20 hours, take away 20 minutes. So you got 19 hours and 40 minutes to go. Do not give up till you finish that first 20 hours. I, I am telling you right now, if you can make it past 20 hours, 20 hours, right? You will see gigantic results. Majority of people do not make it to 10. Some people spend their entire lifetimes. This is it. And if this is you, I'm really sorry if it's you. I know the same feeling because when it comes to content creation, I knew all this thing, all these, all this information. I was like, oh, I could do, I could do. I love looping. I love performing on stream. I love doing all this. It took me years to do the first hour, to do the first five hours, the first 20 hours. Man, it, whatever you can do to eliminate, you know, that first 20 hours, do it. Like just push through, get, if it's a bad day, it is a bad day and just be like, this sucks, but at least I did 30 minutes. Get that first 20 hours out of the way in whatever skill you're aiming for. And in 20 hours, you will find some level of enjoyment or some level of growth. So just please humor me with that. Um, that is the thing. So that's your exercise is doing the 035, 0365 and then writing down 20 hours and then start counting down every time you practice. Be like, okay, did that. Watching the video doesn't count as practice. I'm telling you guys right now, watching this video does not count as practice. This counts as knowledge, but doesn't count as practice. You can sit down and you can watch a million videos, but if you do not get your instrument out and you start challenging yourself and practicing and feeling what it feels like to suck, because that's what this process is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You're going to suck. I suck every day when I hop on. When I hop on stream, when I'm performing, when I'm on stage, I'm like, well, I need to get better. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put myself in a position to make mistakes and, and to suck. There's some things I'm obviously good at because I've spent you know, thousands of hours practicing. I've done over a thousand shows. I've done, you know, over a hundred streams now. Like those things make sense for me. But for you, you haven't gotten there yet. You're just doing the first steps. So don't expect the same result as someone who's already done thousands of hours. You're just going for the first 20. So this is your, the very first hour of your 20. So I am so excited Welcome to playing guitar. So that is your first task. Have fun with it. Try out that first little riff. Remember rhythm first, then notes. Rhythm first, then notes. Most important thing it is going to save you so much time. It will make you way better than me. Way better than me. I learned this so long down the road and I'm hella mad about it. But don't make my mistakes and just jump in and have heaps of fun. All right. The next lesson, uh, we're going to do our first chords. So keen as catch you guys in the next video. Woo